Okay, so to pick up the thread from what I was talking about at the end of the last episode. Essentially, I think what he's talking about is using a clone to be still and absorb the nature. And meanwhile, he can move. And then when he's, when his clone is moving, he can be still. I think that's what he's talking about here. Because he can merge. I don't know if you can merge with a clone, though, because it's you. But maybe he can merge with a clone, possibly, or because it is a clone, you already merged, essentially. I don't know. But I think it has to do with the cloning. So we'll see what happens. All right, this is episode 162. And we are going on one. Three, two, one. One of the many corpses. Oh. You've recovered all the rods, I see. Damn, you killed everybody in here. Jesus. So much for that. What an a-hole. Oh. <laughs> here, have a flash grenade, asshole. <laughs> That's how you do it. Is that? Oh, shit. Who's the other person with the dog? Is that his brother? It's his brother, right? My sister? Yeah, kick his ass. Chop him down to size. That's his mom? She's kind of rough. I kind of like it. Look at it. Meow. She smells like a dog, though, I'm sure. Not appealing. <laughs> Are those uh, bugs? Uh, oh, they're being healed. Okay. Oh, no. She's attacking him with the paper. She's a damn problem. So we're attacking his family. Is that what we're doing? I think that's his family, right? Break from what? What the hell are you talking about? You must be in some other village. <laughs> I haven't seen these guys in a while, man. I forgot about his little way of talking. <laughs> it's time for them to eat my justice. I like how they come in like Superman. You know, he kind of glides down. He doesn't just land with like a like the Hulk lands, right? She can fight as I remember it. Yeah. That's a definitely a costume. Why is this so damn loud? That's definitely a costume choice. And you have a voice for radio. Let's get you into it. <laughs> the dog family. I remember I have a vague memory from the first series. His dog, he was little, his dog was little, and he felt kind of uh, bad because the rest of the family had the big dogs and everything. I, I, I don't, I can't really capture a clear memory of all that, what that was about, what the lesson was. Maybe it's wait your turn or some shit, or he's a runt of the litter or something, uh, the dog. I don't remember. But it was flashbacks that were happening during the, the entrance exam, I think is what it was, or something. It was like, they were trying to, they were fighting each other to see who could move forward in the, the exam. Is I remember it, but yeah, that like I love that would that's probably the jitsu I would want the most. I love the dog companion thing, like he's an extension of you. He's always with you, and he gets bigger, and you can ride him like a pony. Like that's probably my favorite thing because like everybody can learn jitsu, various jitsus, right? But some people have a thing. Like one guy has the bug thing. One guy has the shadow thing. They have the eye thing, right? I think anybody can do the clones and substitution stuff, right? But, like, my I would want my special thing to be the dog thing. I, I love dogs. 
and you'd have a, you'd always have a companion. You always have somebody that has your back, right? And I assume the dog can generate its own chakra. I don't really know that the, the frogs seem to be able to. So I assume the dog can generate its own chakra, which would help you, right? So that's that's my choice. That's what I'd want to do. That's why he's always been, been one of my favorite characters. That's right. Let's kick their asses. Now this volume's lower again. Ha <laughs> ha, that's right. <laughs> Damn, what is that liquid? Are you pissing on him? Yeah, I like how he's I like how he's blocking the knives, man. Yeah. Good shit. <laughs> you can just leap out the building and go down a whole two stories, right? Awesome. She's a damn problem. You need to burn her. I think fire juice would work very well against her. I like what Captain America says. Eyes up, stay alert. Eyes up instead of like you know, like you know, you have your head down or something because you're depressed or whatever. Eyes up. That's the only way to focus. Jesus. Well, that's a damn problem. <laughs> that's anti-aircraft fire if you think about it. Those beetles are eating up those clones. <laughs> Dive bomb their ass. Yeah. Hey, she's coming after the ass. You're getting dive bombed. Well, I guess fire's not a problem for her. She can bring the fire. Right. Yeah, that's pretty cool, actually. You gotta take her ass out. Take her out like yesterday's trash. Yep. That one there, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it kind of looks like him. I don't, th he's, I don't think he's a ringleader, though. There's somebody behind him. Is that important right now? You're dead is what you are. I love his voice, though, man. This voiceover actor is fantastic. Well, that's who they've been asking for the whole time. They're clearing the table before they start the wars. That makes sense. Man, psh. <laughs> That's really what they are, if you think about it. Everything that's happened today has been terrorism. Yeah, look who's talking, asshole. <laughs> well, feast your eyes, because you get more of that. I always love that camera angle right there. It's like the it's like the camera's right here, right? It makes them look really creepy. Yeah, what are you gonna kill me twice? And God, these nuts. Or in her case, these ovaries. <laughs> what am I, a dog? <laughs> Dumbass. <laughs> Bring the pain. I 
like her strength here. This is a great face-off. She used a lot of it, too. They, they can maintain the six. Yeah, they can maintain the six. They can keep keep it at six. Yep. Oh. Oh, that comes later. Okay. Not really, though, I don't think. I think that's more like they're being puppeted. Yep. Somebody's out there controlling everything. I don't think it's uh, Toby. We've got a, probably a stack of bodies waiting. Right. They can do at least six. I think it's one. Interesting. Right. Or even in the Leaf Village. Or they just have longer range than we think they do. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Whatever happened to all the monsters? Like, we haven't seen them lately. Oh, Jesus Christ. God damn it. That's not good. <laughs> she knows. God damn it. Yeah, here's a. I shouldn't have talked. I shouldn't have manifested them, because here they are again. They they were terrorizing. F the sal salamander the most. Disgusting. They're out of here. They know where he is, so they're gone. Or at least they know he's not here. You got to try to capture some of them, man. Jump this son of a bitch. God damn it. <laughs> Why would you confirm it, by the way? How do you know? Asshole. No, attack this son of a bitch. You gotta take out whoever you can take out. Even if they have more bodies to replace them. That's a good point. This is an interesting monologue here. Just attack this son of a bitch. Quit talking. That's what I'm saying. Spare me the super villain riff.
Oh, shit. I forgot that he was holding her, so I guess you can't jump him. But he's gonna kill her. Wait, it's not him. Who, who's got her? Is there's there's another one here? Where the hell is Tsunami at? A lot of this this character's appeal is his voice. His voice is so good. I've never seen anybody in love with their super villain name like this son of a bitch. That's right, kiss that frog's ass. Kick the kick. Did I say kiss? I meant kick. Kick that frog's ass. Oh shit. Oh shit. That's how you know. No, it really doesn't. We need to get out of here. Yeah, yeah, so does Star Wars. <laughs> hey, man. Yeah, now we're talking. You're going to leave here before you get jumped here. Basically, you're playing a game of hot potato. They keep going where he ain't, right? That'll work out pretty good. Okay, this was somebody else. Okay. Jesus. He snatched her soul. I thought, somehow I thought this was happening over there. I got confused with the geography of the situation. Okay, I'm, I'm on the same page now. I guess they just teleported out, man. So she's dead, right? Maybe not if her soul got snatched. Maybe he could be put back. I've never seen anybody get killed like that before. Yeah, so much for what I say at the end of the episode. You'll see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hardy, har, har. <laughs> she's an asshole. Nothing good. You've got a lot of casualties. There's a lot to rebuild. A lot of people are dead or injured. Yeah, <laughs> that must be our message pool. <laughs> so she don't know about her minion. So I guess she wasn't hearing the explosions or seeing the fires or smoke. Too late. Yeah, we're going to play hot potato. Get out of here so we can come back here. What is he doing? He don't care. <laughs> Is he going to level the city? I think he's going to level the city somehow. Uh, you may not want to do that right now. Or 
are they? Don't tell me you're wipe all these people out. Like that. That feels extreme. I don't think the show has the balls. Maybe put them in another dimension or something. Jesus, there's definitely some uh, new uh, icon iconography here. Yeah, he's level in the city. Jesus Christ. Holy shit. God damn. I don't believe you You kill all these characters we know. That would be way too dark. I just don't see that happening. But I bet it effed up a lot of people. Well, one snail survived. Or not. Oh, he protected her. Okay. That was disgusting. I didn't want to be in you. Well, I was just talking about damage control, rebuilding, casualties. It's too late for all that. There he is. I think. Yeah, I think we're here finally. But pain's still here, so I think the confrontation is going to happen here. <laughs> oh shit! We got all the big boys. This is what I was talking about. You summon this guy's shit to take out the monsters, man. <laughs> That's how we're going to drop it. Huh? Yeah, so a little late for that, but that would have maybe been able to do something against these monsters because none of what we were doing was working, man. It's, it's odd because he said, I don't want to linger here, but I'm going to float up here and linger for a really long time for what? Because you're mad that they stalled you? You're mad at what she said? He said he's doing it as, as revenge for somebody. I couldn't catch the name. I don't know, man. Um, that's, that's a little incongruent. You know, he's like supposedly... Wanting to hurry up and take go after Naruto, but like you're you're it looks like you may have sacrificed the life of some of your minions. Now you're gonna have to go back to home base and re energize some more corpses before you go up there. he would be long gone by then. You probably had a small window before Naruto could be warned where you could go up there and try to get him. And you didn't do that. That's a little weird. Instead, you're conveniently still here when Naruto shows up, so now you can fight him here. So I don't know, it feels a little convenient. By the way, on that subject, there is a difference between a plot convenience and a plot hole. A plot convenience is not a plot hole. A plot hole is something that gets contradicted or just doesn't get explained or, you know, you know what a plot hole is, right? Maybe you don't if you don't know this. Not, but a plot convenience is just something, wow, that's convenient. He just happened to have a gun in the drawer when the guy walked in the room. That's a plot convenience, not a plot hole. Some, every story needs plot convenience. It's a function of the story. Like, you need it, right? So it's just it's a part of it. Stories don't need plot holes. But I'm so tired, and I don't like this whole media literacy shit. I think that's arrogant and elitist. Oh, you're not media literate. Yeah, shut up. But I will say, if you're ever going to make that ac accusation against somebody, it would be a bit somebody who can't tell the difference between a plot convenience and a plot hole. So, um, the last video file I did before I finished record, screen recording the episode. So, this video file begins with the rest of that episode. But before I do that, um, so just some general thoughts, because things were happening really fast. I was trying to get a bunch of thoughts out there. So I'll do it here and stick it at the end. Here's the thing. I know they, have, they probably have a stack of bodies waiting to be reanimated. But you still have to destroy everything you can. You have to try. Like Maybe there's a finite limit. Maybe there's only so many times they can do it. Maybe one of these guys, like this guy, for instance, is actually still alive. It isn't a corpse. Killing him actually means something, or capturing him. Most likely kill him. So you got to attack them. As they're running away, there's a good chance to take at least one of them out, maybe more. The monsters have left. You have a just a very narrow slice of time here, a very narrow window of time. Attack these sons of bitches and try to take them out. Their only goal is to leave. They're not going to be as on the defensive as much. Maybe you can get a lucky strike, especially this dude, but also that other one that was trying to run out of the city. 
any of them you could, like, I would just, there's no way to really coordinate this, but if it was me, I would try to have everybody who can still move attacking these bastards. Also, I guess we're about ready to find out if these frogs can fight, because they're about to get jumped. Oh, boy.